Welcome to episode six of TR3 Wrench Time. We're gonna do some unboxing today and see what body panels we've got. Uh, we're gonna compare it to our order sheet here. And there's some stuff that's back ordered, so uh, we just gotta keep track of what we've ordered and what we're still waiting on, and then figure out what we've got so we can make a plan kind of revolving around the pieces that we already have so we can keep moving on the project. So let's take a look. All right, so here's our spreadsheet. Uh, we've got parts that are ordered, parts that have been received, so we're just going to take a look inside of our boxes that we've got and take inventory. Okay, I can already tell what this is. Look at that rust-free piece. Brilliant. Right. Looks like we've got right hand sill, front and rear fender mounting bolts. There are the nuts that go inside the cages. Left hand rear quarter panel. Okay, we got one of the body mount brackets for the rear that we were just talking about last video. We got both of the dog legs. That is this panel here. We got this, this outrigger panel that we took off the front here. It goes along here. Uh, we got one of those. So the other one is still back ordered, I guess. We got the passenger side sill and we still have another box to go. Hey, look at that, we've got both sills. That is fantastic. So we've got both sills, that is great. That's not gonna slow us down. We've got those, the floor pans. All right, we definitely have enough parts to get this party started, so let's, uh, let's get going. All right, so what we're gonna do now is uh, try to figure out the best way to cut out some of these spot welds. A uh, couple methods we're gonna try here. Uh, we've got a spot weld cutter kit. So it's got the center bit, but then it's also got the, uh, the wheel cutter here too. Uh, so we've got that. And then we've just got some regular old fashioned drill bits. So we're gonna give both a try and see which one, uh, see which method is gonna work best for us. I think they both have their place, right? I'm going to probably use them both in different different spots. What I really do like about the uh, actual spot weld cutter is is what comes out of it is is pretty much exactly the spot weld. Um, you know, they're roughly the same the same. Actually, they're probably exactly the same size. So you can do what this does with this. It just takes a little bit more skill and practice. Obviously, these are a lot cheaper than these. These these are a lot cheaper than these. But um, for some more intricate work, um, 
and places where it's got to be right, I, I'll probably use these. And on stuff like the rockers where it's just going to get replaced anyway, I'm going to probably use these. here we're going to repair down here at the bottom edge this is all good metal most of this side is good uh, the flange is a little a little crusty in the middle and it's uh, basically okay this is all going to get replaced with the floorboard anyway so we're going to cut this out um, and what I'm going to do is cut about four inches up with the flange that'll be five a five inch piece I'm going to go straight across all the way to the edge. We're gonna cut this out here. Um, I'm gonna to try to separate this piece for the tunnel. What we're gonna have is a template piece to come out that is basically a rectangle. previous videos we've been talking about uh, reattaching getting the frame back so we can reattach it to the body and you've noticed that we haven't actually done that yet um, in fact we have built up the support in the back and the front uh, because what we have discovered is that the majority of the mount points to the frame are in places that actually need to be replaced so on the floors and on the rockers, um, the sills, those pieces actually have to be replaced. Uh, now all the books that I've read say, do all the work with the body attached to the frame. All the pictures I've seen of getting the floor uh, and the sills replaced, there is no frame attached to it. And the reason is, it's impossible. You can't do it with the frame attached to the body. So, uh, what we have done today, is uh, welded up some more bracing for the middle of the car uh, in preparation of taking this this piece out here. So between the A and the B post is now uh, supported in two places uh, along with the cross member and the, and the car definitely feels more rigid this way.